right, Greg, back here at Underground Graphics. Uh, we still got Ted's Bronco here, and one of the things that we added to our library was the mirror tent. I think we've covered all of the other pieces on how to install those. This one I did want to make a little quick video for. It's a little tricky, so we'll do a quick demo on this. We actually already put one on, took it off. We got everything ready to go. He's on his way to pick up. So you're going to see, this is what you're going to get. We're going to, with this kit, we're going to give you four of these in case you mess up. You got a couple shots at this, but we gave some relief cuts in here. So we're going to center this up on here. That way these edges are going to fold over, fold over, fold over, fold over. You should get no white or, you know, no, no lens showing. Um, this piece in the back, this piece that's got the white openings is going to be your, your back and towards the front, you're going to have the smaller. I think you could actually go either way with this, but we went ahead and did kind of finalize that as that's going to be our method to do this. And again, even though this is technically a wet install film, we are going to go ahead and do this dry. Um, I do recommend that soft squeegee. And again, you just kind of want to line that up. I'm going to get a little bit closer to the front. And again, you can bring this forward, pull it back, do what you need to do with it. I'm in too far forward now, but I want, you know, I, I want to get this centered. Again, as long as it's on here really light, you can move, you know, get that moved around. I think we're pretty close there. And any excess you can actually tuck in there. Uh, you may get just a hair showing towards the back, but again, I'm just gonna do this real quickly for you guys. I've got that kind of in place where I want it. Again, you're gonna get that small squeegee, or again, this, this you really can use your thumb if you want. Um, make sure you get all that face side the most outer part, part down first. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna start working one, one corner with that. This is where you are gonna want a little bit of heat. I've got a little cordless heat gun. All it takes is a little bit of, just to get that warm. And you can see that kind of soften up. And we're gonna take that hard edge of that squeegee and just roll that in. Remember, we still have this one that I really want, essentially want to lay right on top of the other one. So we go back and work that side down. Now we've got this ledge to go down, same thing, kind of get it started. Once this stuff gets soft, it really almost will like shrink to shape. But again, this is not wrap film. Um, there are a couple of brands that do offer a air release tent. Um, it just doesn't have a really great adhesive to it. If it's a large piece, it may work all right. Um, and as you can see, it just kind of got that edge down as well. We're gonna come back around, work our way around back to that front side. And I actually already tacked and laid down. get back to that very front again you can kind of see that's where you've got that that, that relief i want to tuck and then tuck that one right on top of it and again if you want to try that again you will have an extra or two how good you get with that first one. This is the third time we've done this. 
And again, for what we're doing, it really makes a huge difference on those mirrors. We just finished up this Bronco and what stood out were these white lenses on the mirrors. And that's really it. You can go back and heat it again if you want to. If you use the plastic end on this, it's fine. This film, as long as you're not gouging it, uh, you can go back with a little bit of warmth, a little bit of, uh, of heat, and it'll take out those light surface scratches. Anyway, that's it. Um, again, that'll be part of our uh, Bronco lens tent kit, um, available by itself or as part of a package. We'll have that up on the site shortly. Thank you.